Hey, everybody. Welcome to the Just Talking Podcast. If you could please give us a five-star review on iTunes, that would be great. And if you have any questions at all, you can email them to justtalkingquestions at gmail.com. Thanks. Thanks. Bye. Hey everybody, welcome to Just Talking. I know we took a bit of a hiatus here for a minute, um, yeah. but you know, people have lives. You know what I'm we saying? We got things going on. Yeah. It's no big deal. Yep. It's it's nothing, you know, that can't be fixed. Mm-hmm. You also know your your uh, your favorite twins here sometimes have a terrible uh, tendency to prioritize poorly. Um, uh, uh, but I... I don't, I don't even think we need to harp on that. I don't even think we need to, you know, we should talk ourselves up, not down. Oh, we no, should. I agree. No, no, no. You're lucky you're getting what you get. Yeah. How about that? How about, how about that, you're huh? welcome that we're back? <laughs> huh? Everything about, about that? that? You ever consider that? You ever consider that? Uh, no. We, it, is um, good to, it is good to be it in, is this, <laughs> in this studio, in this building. It really is nice. I mean. With a blue solo cup. Kelly, where's yours? Put My solo cup is right Put here. Put it in the frame. It's right here. We're drinking some wine. Hey, cheers, We're bitch. drinking two different bottles of wine that both had about a glass and a half left. There you go. You know, what's crazy is, so yesterday I got, um, I went to the doctor for, for the first time in over like a year, right? Because mm-hmm. obviously mm-hmm. the pandemic hit. Not going to go in there. I explained that to them and they were like, of course. Like they right. were on my side, which I appreciated, you know. Um, but they said that I had to get a tetanus shot. And so now my whole body just feels kind of quirky, you know. Yeah, but I also, Kelly, we, I mean, I have felt a little bit out of it today. And no, no, I no. Not I know. Get a tetanus shot. I know out of it and I know sore in every bone in my body. And You're sore that's, in every bone in your, every yes, bone? Yes, yes, Every bone. Yes. Your face hurts. Well, no, yeah, my face, it, it just feels like very exhausted, the whole thing. Mm. But it says that that's a side effect and it's no big deal. And I did check, tetanus shot, totally fine, compatible with alcohol, just well, so everybody knows. How do we... How long does it last? Because we're supposed to go to karaoke tonight. It can last. Well, it, I don't know how long the side effects can last for. I know the soreness in the arm lasts for like three days. Okay. So, you know, don't let me do any heavy lifting. Not that I was planning on it, but, uh, oh, darn it. I planned my tennis shot around all these bricks that I had to move. <laughs> Shoot. I forgot I had to build a house. <laughs> do you think you could build a house? Fuck no. You kidding me? You there's too much math. Don't talk yourself down. Uh, I'm just... not. I'm not. I'm talking carpenters up. Th- there's too much math involved. I couldn't. I couldn't get involved in that kind of thing. I think I could build a house. You think you could build a house? Give me enough time. I can do anything. I once brought up to Bruce that I wanted to build a clock, and he was clearly like analog or digital. Just a regular. Two- she was talking analog. I'm talking okay. two hand clock. And I was okay. like trying to be as nice as I could to be like, you know, it's really hard to do. Hard. Yeah. It's and not I, easy. Yeah. And I looked it up and the internet did say that it was very difficult to do. There's so. a lot of parts in there. To make yeah. Sure that it, you know, what a simple thing, but a complicated thing at the same time. Looks simple from, you know, the outside perspective. I mean, it's just a board of 12 numbers and then two hands but so you to get that uh, to uh, work uh, correctly. Uh, that's where you flub that's where we all flub it's not just two hands it's three okay fine yep. well some only have two some only have two but your the- classic school clock has three but yeah. that's kind of, I think, to add to the prison-like feeling mm. to be mm. like yeah Time watch how is slow one more really so fucking slow. second yeah, yeah. Totally. Yeah, definitely. But I got to tell you, these doctors, they were hip doctors. Like, they were probably only, like, maybe four to five years older than me. They were hip doctors, but they gave you a tetanus shot? They were cool, is what I'm saying. They weren't hip. I don't like the cool. I've talked about this at nauseum, but I I don't like a cool doctor. I had the cool doctor in Hollywood that if he asked me if I smoked and I said that I vape, and he said, me too. 
which I didn't like. Okay, that like wasn't that the situation that I had. It wasn't. They weren't that cool. They, they were, need to set. They a were. Precedent. They were suburban Portland cool. Okay, okay. so. So they, they they understood that you know the woman that was definitely there is def- that you know that did some of my uh, diagnostics or whatever she's definitely a uh, wino you know you can just kind of tell she's very skinny she was like I like to run too but I'm like you're the type of runner that drinks a bottle of red before you go to sleep yeah you know yeah what they're out there these women exist. It's time we give them some freaking representation. The women who run and then they drink themselves to go to bed. They... Okay. First of all, drink themselves to go to bed. Drink themselves to sleep. Is Have the you sense, something that, that came up recently that Kelly Kelly does that it recently I heard it and I was like, wow, she does that all the time. And I totally have not caught on to it. I mean, I'm sure I have, but I just haven't addressed it until what do I right do? now. I don't know what it is. So. When you describe things, you always say one adjective and then you say, and everything. What? I do that? Do I do that? So push? you'll say like, you know, and she had blonde hair and everything. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. What well, is the and everything? <laughs> you get the rest of it. You understand the rest. And everything included she, with what? She got blonde hair and everything. No, no. She's one of those. What I'm everything. really saying is she's one of those blonde ass bitches. And everything else that goes attached to that. <laughs> That's what I'm trying to say. Hey, you know, heroin addict and everything. Everything that goes along with it. No house. Family doesn't talk to him. But the whole like, situation. I'm doing the whole you, thing. You normally never give more than one adjective. Uh, yeah, you because just say you get it. And everything. Typically, I'm around smart enough people where I don't need to elaborate much further. So I just say and everything, and then you get it. You know what I'm saying? Like if I told you, if I told you, oh, uh, this woman I ran into her at the store. She was telling me her whole life story and everything. You would know exactly what I'm talking about. I do know what you're talking about. See? I'm just saying that you do it. And okay. I and I I heard it the other day and I was like, wow, she does that all the time. I totally did. You hear haven't. it and notice it, or did someone bring it up to you? No, no, I heard it. And okay, I noticed it. Okay, if okay. somebody else brought it up to you, that would have been the story. I mean, to up to me, then I would have said someone else brought it up. Brought to it me. up to me. Yeah, yeah. No, I I, I got some weird little, you know, <laughs> ticks or like uh, weird little weird little phrases that I gotta use. You know? Yeah, you do a lot of yada yeah. yada yada too. Yada yada. You know yada. how to, you really know how to condense a story. Yeah, you do. I just God forbid you waste. It's, it's like you start it and you're already tired of telling it. So I get bored. Finish it. Yes, I get bored very very quickly. Mm. It's actually kind of a bummer. Maybe other- you're more concerned with other people getting bored with what you're saying, and therefore you shorten your story in in hopes that they won't get bored with what you're saying. Like you try and keep them interested. Is that it? Well, have you ever had it where you're telling somebody a story and you can see their eyes glaze? Oh, my God. When you're telling somebody a story and their eyes just like go. It's the worst. It's the worst. And you're like, you don't want to talk to me anymore. So I got to keep it short. I'll tell you this right now. Okay. So it rarely happens to me because I'm wildly entertaining. It very rarely happens to me, too. So when it does, I am devastated. There was one time I was at this comedy club. I'm not going to mention the name. Okay, and I was talking to this comedian who I'm not going to mention the name of, but I look up to this person. Uh-huh. Okay, okay, and I was telling oh, them, yeah. I was telling them something, and I could see them drifting. You know what I'm saying? I could see them pulling other people, going, "Oh, hey, how you doing?" In the middle of what I was saying, awesome. traumatized by it. I'm traumatized yeah, by it totally. because, and even now, if I do see this comedian, even now, I don't even know if I can look him in the eyes because I'm just like, "What you did to me." But the thing is, is that a lot of people will have conversations with people and have no idea that the other person does not want to speak to them any longer. Yeah. Yeah. The self-awareness is not there. So if I if I catch you even like waver in regards to enthusiasm of me talking, I will cut that shit short. Yeah. No, I'm not talking anymore. Literally, once I noticed that they were doing that, I was like, all right, well. All right. Well, I'm going to go. I'm going to go. And I think they're like, "Okay, it's nice to nice to see you. And I was like, was it nice to see me? Was it nice to see me? I don't think you felt that way. You don't have to lie to me. Just be like, hey, Kelly, have you ever thought shutting the fuck up for a second? (laughs) That would make me feel a lot better. You know? Yeah. 
Yeah. No, I know what you mean. I know what you mean, Kelly. But yeah. would you be madder if they did put their hand, like, finger on your lips and say, "Would you shut the fuck up?" Just, like, <laughs> Honestly, I think it would have. With this comedian, I think it would have aligned more with their personality if they had done that. But I think they were trying to be polite, but also get the fuck away from me, which wasn't a great feeling. You know. Yeah. That's why you normally catch Kelly and I just standing in a corner, not talking to anybody. Yeah, I'll let you come to me. I'll let you come to yeah, me. Yeah. If you want to talk to me, you let me know. Otherwise, I'll be right here. Well, also the <laughs> way that it is in comedy, it's like sometimes you go places and everyone's just trying to talk to the next bigger person. You yeah. know what I'm saying? And I'm like, yeah. I know that I don't mean jack shit in comedy right now. I understand that. And I hope that one day it changes. I hope I get some fucking respect around here. It doesn't matter. Anyways, so, but. Start sobbing. <laughs> I know. I know. But. I know that I don't mean jack shit, so yep, yeah. yeah. But I, I don't. Assume, so I don't treat other people like that, though. Right. I don't treat worse comics like shit. No, no, no. Even though some people would argue that I should, but I don't. I walk into a scenario and arguably think. I think to myself, I'm like, nobody needs to talk to me. I'm fine. If I'm you want to talk to me, you come here. to me from here on you out. You want to talk to me, you come to me. Otherwise, I'll be in this corner. And I'm sorry if that comes across as unfriendly. It's just that I'm assuming that if you wanted to talk to me, you would come over and talk to me. I, I just, I don't I don't need to talk to anybody. <laughs> I'm fine. You know why? Yeah. There's a lot going on up here. I'm still thinking. It's not as though I need somebody else to, you know, mm-hmm. sit. And by the way, most of the time I got hurt. Yeah, if you're when there, you got, I don't need to go yeah, say You don't need anybody. to talk to anybody because yeah. she's right here. You know? Yeah. What a mess, huh? Yeah. Well, that's the other thing is, like, I feel like when I get back to Los Angeles, I really need to push, you know, lean into the fact that, like, hey, I'm not this recluse. Yeah. And I'm not an asshole. Because I think when I was there last time, I came across as somebody who was just very, like, stuck to their own. And then, you know, you leave. And what? My one fucking friend was Emily Browning? You know? Emily Browning. Well, because, you know, she'll... She reaches out. She reaches she out. She takes the next step, you know? Yeah. I'm talking about, yeah. I'm also, I, I, obviously there are a lot of men who would be like, I'm your friend, what the fuck? But I'm talking about <laughs> like yeah. a close female friend. Well, no, yeah. I'd say I have two. Hi, Monterey. I'd say I'd have two. But then after that. I like Monterey. I like Monterey too. <laughs> I know, she's great. But but that's the other thing is that I felt like it was very hard. And there are people that I've reached out to to be like, when I get back, what do you say we be pals? And they're like, yeah. And I think in their head, they're like, we all thought you were a jerk. Yeah, probably. I mean, I think Kelly and I have come <laughs> across as standoffish at times. Uh, but it's really, it's coming from a place of, we don't want you to find us. Annoying. Yeah. We're, I'm awful at networking. I'll flat out say it. I'm yeah. terrible at it. Of I'm course, now that I say it, I'm awful thinking at of it. another person that would be upset if they thought that I wasn't their friend. Sasha. Hi, Sasha. How you doing? Hi, Sasha. I love you, Sasha. Yeah, yeah. She's but great. <laughs> there are a lot of there's, people. There's, there's a lot of people that we were cordial with and yeah. that we liked, and, yeah. but the friendship never expanded beyond a certain little bubble because we were too closed off. Kelly we and were I, afraid to love you uh, and I. Ah. Uh, 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 well, maybe we'll have a little bit more of an open open hearts when we go back to Los Angeles. Maybe that's what will happen. Probably not. <laughs> Probably not. We can talk big game right now. Uh, yeah, we really can. When we get well, back there, you can find us. Yeah. Here, scoot over a little bit. Scoot over it a little bit. I think the other thing. Bitch, I can't scoot over anymore. I'm going to yeah, be oh, on Okay, there you. we go. There we go. Um, I think the other thing is when we came up here, well, after the pandemic, now I'm like, shoot. I got to make friends because yeah. you never know when the yeah. pandemic is going to happen and, you know, shit gets crazy, which is where we've had the problem now is that I got too excited about liking people in Portland and I've invited too many people over for Memorial Day. It's not I- <laughs> <laughs> that you've invited too many people. It's just that I think you're overselling the, the amount event. of space <laughs> that we have and what the event itself mm-hmm. is, because you keep calling it a barbecue. We and don't have a grill. <laughs> the biggest component to a barbecue, one might say, is a barbecue pit, or which we lack. Yeah. yeah, but I feel like we have the spirit of a barbecue. There are other ways to cook hot dogs. You could dogs just call it a Memorial Day party. A party is fine, but to call it a barbecue, with that, I mean, words are important, Kelly. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but I feel like we're going to have barbecue-esque 
food, you know? Yeah, we're going to have to cook a shitload of burgers on a motherfucking cast iron, which is fine. It's just... I can't wait to get decorations for it, though. It's going to be fun. Everything's going to work out, but it's just like we just don't have... She just... she You didn't advertise it correctly, and that's 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 okay. It's all right. Yeah, well, I kind of got in over my head because yeah. Yeah. <laughs> because I get excited. Right. And, you know. It is exciting. It's going to be fun. But at your guys' birthday party, well, one would say that there were, we were a little. Uh, we were at capacity. We were at capacity. And so now that you've gone and doubled those numbers. <laughs> I didn't double you it. Doubled you doubled it. You doubled it. You think it's double? Yes. Yeah, I Chelsea double it. doubled it by inviting her cousins who, who live, live in a van. van. <laughs> who live in a van, which is fine. I didn't. But Kelly's yeah, I didn't like, do hey, that part, though. Kelly's like, hey, no, it, it'll be fine. Not everyone's coming for the food, but some of these people are coming for the food. Yeah, but also like you know, people should just be happy that we're having people over. People should just be grateful that I'm gonna get little paper paper plates with an American flag on it, or whatever. Maybe I'll get some streamers. I've never celebrated Memorial Day in my life. In my That's life. That's not true. Oh, you're right. Jet. We went to Jet's uh, Memorial Day. But also, didn't we do something like two years oh ago for God. Memorial Day? Yes, we I did. I don't know. Oh, sorry. I just looked in the camera and my hair, Your is, hair is so very... ratty today. <clears throat> Thank God most of you just listen and don't fucking watch this shit because, oh, God. We went to a Memorial Day party like two years ago. Did we? At Megan Sullivan's. Oh, yeah. I'm pretty sure that was Memorial Day. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. That was fun. It was fun. We had a great time. That was a good time. Yeah. We were also educated last night that Memorial Day is to celebrate dead veterans. Yeah. Because mm-hmm. I tried to uh, I tried to uh, insinuate that Shane Brendan was going to be the veteran of honor, and he told me to fuck right off. <laughs> oh, I got it. Veterans Day is for veterans who right. are still kicking. Still kicking. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. 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 I am. I. Uh, speaking of veterans, I'm going to cut this story. I'm going to cut. I'm going to turn around. What's wrong? What's on my face? Just a dot. Just a dot? Yeah. Mm. Go ahead. Okay. So speaking. Uh, this This is a veteran in comedy, if you will. This is what this. I'm going to tie this into. A veteran right. in comedy as in they've been doing comedy like for been a long time? Okay. Or? Okay. So, so let me lay it out. So people are upset with Seth Rogen. Because he came out and said that some jokes just don't age well. Okay. And comics kind of got to move on from that. Like, it's no big deal. It's just some of your shit's not going to age well. I totally agree with that. Sure. Some shit that I said when I was 18, I, that didn't age well, you know. Yeah. And yeah. I would never tell yeah. it again. But, like, other people are being like, you're not even a comedian, so you shouldn't say something. And I'm like, okay, he might not do stand-up. But he's Seth Rogen. Yeah, he his doesn't opinion have a good matters. Credibility here, you know, like just because I mean, someone but he's doesn't... also. I mean, at the same time, like he has made films that he probably looks at and he's like, "Yeah, I couldn't put that out today." Yeah, I couldn't put that out today, and that's okay. So it's it's kind of like I'm sorry that he's not, you know, getting up with a microphone and doing uh, five minutes that half of you don't even have. Um, but <laughs> he is putting out <laughs> films that make millions upon millions of dollars, and if he can swallow his pride and put his ego to the side and say that some of his jokes that he wrote ten years ago aren't working anymore, then you can put aside the ones of yours that have never worked. And we'll be right back with a word from our sponsors. <laughs> no, you're 100% yeah, right. Yeah, you're it's completely also, right. I don't know. I think any yeah. time any, especially bad comedians, get hear anybody saying anything even along the lines of that, they think that, that it means that they're, people are coming and attacking whatever. Yeah. But it's like, even like somebody like Martin Lawrence, whenever he came back, which he really isn't even back in stand-up comedy, whenever he came back to stand-up comedy after not doing it for a while and his punchlines were still like, yeah, and then he was gay, dog. And then, like, everyone's like, huh? And he's like, well, come on. And it's like, it's just not how comedy... I mean, if you go back and watch Eddie Murphy's yeah. thing, it's like, yeah, it was big and whatever at the time because it was like nobody had ever done it on this kind of magnitude. But... When he comes out and literally his entire thing is that, you know, gay guys aren't allowed to stare at my ass no more. And it's like a big thing. I mean, it's, you know. Yeah. And he says the big word for it. Things, (laughs) look, things age poorly. Yeah. And 
like some of y'all faces. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, them things. Oh uh, my God! Let me tell you something though. What? Let me tell you something. Nothing like having kids right out of college will age your fucking face. Holy shit! Oh my God! I have seen some people I know. where I'm like, I can't believe y'all are still doing it out here. I can't believe it either. You know, I mean, I feel kind of bad because I'm like, did no one tell you guys that you don't have? You can wait for half a minute. Yeah. You know? Yeah, you really can't. But I just, I, uh, you know, you know how I feel about this. I'm not ready to give up really anything because I don't have <laughs> that much. <laughs> you know? Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I'm I'm hanging on to the things that I do have, and I'm not yeah. willing to throw them away no. for something that can wait a goddamn minute. Yeah, well, and also there's so much technology now. I was seeing this video where it's like they were growing one, growing a baby in like a pod instead of in the mom's stomach. That sounds great. Doesn't that sound incredible? So they were taking the sperm. They were taking the ingredients and they put it into a pod. And then the idea is that it would grow. They did it with a sheep. So now they're going to try to do it with humans. Honestly, go for it. Go for it. Why the fuck not? Who cares? Go for it. You know, I I don't I have no I have no I don't need I don't need it inside inside of inside of me to feel like it's, you know. First of all, I mean, I've talked about this before. Maybe this is my own problem with my own shit, but I really do. It's like alien stuff to me yeah it very sorry it looks very foreign it looks very for i don't i don't look at the scenario of a pregnant woman and go oh so cute look at that yeah me neither she's gonna have a kid i'm like it oh looks, god it looks like a a process for sure and you know if you want to do it go ahead you know whatever. and i'm not saying i'll never do it i'm just saying at this it point does, in time, yeah it still does not compute with my brain as something that is a, uh, appealing or something I would want to do at all. Yeah, to to look at it and be like, it's a beautiful thing is kind of, you know, I mean, yeah, it's really cool that you can create another life. That's cool. Yeah, it's cool. You know, but let's not act like the whole, the, you know, medical procedure is something I want to watch on tape. Mm-mm. You know, Mm-mm. it's just not very appealing to me. But some people get really upset when you say that. Some people are like, the, it's the miracle of life. And it's like, if there are 7 billion people on the planet, is not it really all, a miracle? Not all of us are miracles. Yeah, there's no way. Not all of us are miracles. I've met some of y'all. It's I'm definitely sorry. high five worthy. For sure. High five worthy, definitely. I just, I think it's strange because, you know, there's so much uh, overpopulation. There's so many people who are homeless. There's so many people who are without food, without water, without you know, whatever, and all these things. And it's like, if we can't even take care of the people that we do have on this godforsaken planet, why do you feel so obligated to bring more people into it? I just don't get it. It's just not my... And I'm not saying that there's anything wrong with having kids. What I'm saying is that it's strange to me to push it on people if it's something that they don't want to do. I just think that it's... People see things like that as the next step. Right. Where they yeah. just, they're like, okay, now we're here. Now we do this. Yeah. Now yeah. we do that. Now yeah. we do this. When really it's like, you can kind of do whatever the fuck you want. You can dude. do whatever you want. You don't, yeah. you don't have to, you don't have to do any, of it. like you, you just, you don't have to do any of it. There's no, there's no set timeline. No. For, for everybody. It just doesn't exist. And it's something that. Society is definitely made up, and I think that there are a lot of people who want to live that quote-unquote normal standard life to appeal to the people around them. You know, there are a lot of people who have kids because they're like, oh, well, you know, if I don't have kids or if I don't have a family, then I'm not going to fit in in the suburban club or whatever the fuck, you know? There's a pressure, and it's like the second we give up the idea that any of us are supposed to be a certain way or anything is no. is the second we find some more freaking happiness. Well, and it's also, it's important to consider, I mean, have, have some good self-awareness with, with yourself. Are you fit to be a parent? There's a lot of people who aren't. There's a lot of people who yeah. really are not fit to do it. Uh, and um, they they yeah. are fueled by things other than you know, wanting to actually raise a child and then they have the child in their life and it, and it's, you know, it gets it gets weird. It gets The sad. weirdest one is when people are like, I want to have a little kid that looks like me. 
Yeah, that's what I mean. I tweeted about this the other day. It's like if that is your motive, if your motive is not for the child, if your motive is for your own personal like I want, then it's it's strange to me because it's like you you're bringing a life into this world, a complicated life that, you know, at one point as a child is very, you know, cute and lovable and all that good stuff. But they eventually turn into an adult with their own problems and their own issue and stuff. And it gets it's complicated. It's a lot. It's a life. Yeah. Well, so, also- it, you know, it's. It's a serious thing. And when people talk about it very lightly and loosely, that's where I get kind of like, yeah, well, you know. Well, the other thing is when people bet on the kid looking like them. Have you ever heard of albino people? And have you ever heard of somebody cheating on your ass? Yeah, girl. I mean, that kid might not come out looking like you, you know? There's a fly in here. Yeah. Um... And there's there's nothing wrong with that. That's the other thing is it's like, why would you want a mini you? Yeah, I don't get that. But Kelly and I come from a very privileged stance. We've got somebody who looks like us our entire life. Oh, you yeah. know, yeah, we talked about that, too. I mean, it's it's not something that and, Kelly and I, and I have ever. I'm not saying that know. it doesn't make sense to want kid. Wanting kids is, yeah. di- you know, if you want if you want a little kid to play like catch and ball with. You like the sure. idea of making little lunch boxes. There's nothing wrong with wanting to have kids. I just am saying that like That's got to be my favorite thing that I would what? have to do. Is making like the lunch? Making the lunch. You know what I'm saying? Like making the lunch, packing certain things, putting like a heart in the peanut butter sandwich like dad does. Yeah. You know, he still does it. He mails me peanut butter sandwiches. I think my main thing would be birthday parties. Birthday parties would rule. I would love to do birthday parties. Yeah. The only thing is, is that I would be very worried that I would spoil the fuck out of my kid yeah, yeah yeah because i would just be like i mean look look at how i am now i'm like i'm thinking of the paper plates for memorial day what i don't know i've known these people for four months and i'm like <laughs> if they don't get the best memorial day party of their lives <sighs> but we get that from our mom like our mom uh every single holiday growing up when we came downstairs the entire table was decorated there were presents for all of us on holidays though it was not necessary for there to be presents like valentine's day we would come downstairs it'd be like gift cards gift cards the whole table's decorated <clears throat> it's red pancakes we're having that our dad has made i mean we were spoiled as fuck in regards to the holiday situation and, and in regards to the love situation and now so, i wonder why we like to have such a good party all the time we love a good party. Yeah, you bi- they built party animals they, from the ground they, up. They really did. They, they started really with did. decorations. And things were a celebration <laughs> yeah. in our family growing yeah. up. But isn't that kind of the way that life should be? That's how I You know, feel. that's why it pisses me off when people are like, Valentine's Day is a corporate thing. It's like, how fucking miserable. Would it kill you to have a good time? It would. It would kill these it people really to have a good time. It really would kill them to have a good time. Well, that's what I was saying yesterday about uh, how these people wake up. I saw some fucking stupid ass tweet about... Somebody that was like, I am so tired of the narratives in movies about like coming of age stories. What I, and I'm like, you woke up mad about this. Yeah. You woke up mad yeah. about the Joker movie that came out three, what, three years ago? The Joaquin Phoenix Joker movie? Yeah, two or three years ago it came uh, out, right? Yeah, something like that. Yeah. I, don't know. I didn't see it. And then they wake up. But th- but that's what I'm saying. It's like people are just inherently miserable and they want to be miserable. If you don't like something, don't look at it. Go watch something else. Go do something else. Go do something that makes you fucking happy. Yeah. Go do something that makes you laugh. Yeah. Even if you're bad at it. Go play mini golf, even if you suck. Don't play disc golf. Go- don't that's play a game, game that I think we should that. just eliminate. I don't understand it. I don't it. understand what we're Frisbee, doing. Frisbee, it can... What, what a useless... Why would you Frisbee when you can boomerang? It's Why like, it's would like, you Frisbee when you can boomerang? Have you ever done a boomerang? Yeah, but it comes right back at you. Does no, it? No, it does not. Have you ever got a Kelly, boomerang Kelly, to come Kelly, back Kelly, I'm to pretty you? sure... Hard as fuck. Yeah, I don't think you have ever, ever gotten a boomerang to come back to you. Yes, I absolutely have. I do not believe you. I'll, I don't believe I you either. Kelly, I love you right so now. much, but go, come directly back to you. I'm not talking comes back five feet and then falls to the ground, but it went in the different direction. So you're saying it came back. I'm saying you threw it 50 yards. It came back around and I you caught, caught it in your hand. No, that's impossible. That's what the boomerang is advertised to do. You know what's better than a boomerang? What? When you're in the pool and you got a torpedo. Love a good torpedo. Oh, oh man. My God. Get out of here. That's the best. Oh, 
the movie. Oh, yep. That is the best pool toy, in my humble opinion. The, bo- the, the torpedo. Yeah, oh people God, try rocks. to pitch the rings, but it's like... The rings. The rings. You throw the rings in, then you swim to the bottom, and you catch them. No, 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 no. I mean, that's fine. I also like a good, you know, a good stick throw to the bottom, and yeah, then you yeah, gotta yeah, go yeah, grab yeah, it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But, but, I mean, the torpedo, get out of torpedo here. Torpedo is right up there with the noodle. You know what I haven't done in a long time? Hmm. Swam in a pool. The last time we were in a pool, was that Las Vegas? Two years ago? Yeah, that was fun. That was fun. We were we were actually, we went into, you know, a Las Vegas pool, which was not, this was a very I went in there a few times. I got a 64-ounce pina colada, and then I went in. Oh, yeah, I think I napped. Maybe? You napped, yeah. Andrew and I went down there. And there was it was sixty four ounce pina colada and like that thing that goes around your neck. No, it's no, just no. this huge fucking bucket. Yeah. It ruled. Yeah, that I mean that was the first time I mean that I had been yeah that I had been in a uh, like a large pool with a bunch of people. <laughs> I normally don't like the whole idea of being in a pool with a shit ton of people. They got so much chlorine in that bitch. Yeah, though. I mean I know it's it's fine whatever, but it's still, I came it's out just and I was green. Foreign to me. Huh? Yeah, I don't like a I don't like a lot of people in a pool. I it, don't like a water park either. Dirty. Feels dirty. Yeah, I don't like a water park. I'm telling you though. Except for Schlitterbahn. Schlitterbahn. Because a whole Bruce, another game. I mean, this thing is insane. I've heard of Schlitterbahn. Yeah, they do. They New do Bromfels. water parks correctly. Yeah. Uh, yeah. This shit's insane. Are they open? They're in Texas. Yeah. yeah They're probably yeah, never you, closed. Wait. Do you think they have waterproof masks? No. They should have made those, don't you think? Also known as a fucking snorkel no wait that goes over your eyes yeah they made them they made waterproof wow that's funny (laughs) that is funny they um yes schlitterbahn is awesome it's intense i think a couple of people have died at that water park yeah there's that one ride the torrent the torrent that is that's like an insane lazy uh, river lazy river but like the waves are nuts it's like a wave pool but it's a lazy river so you, there were people that were like jumping off the fucking wall with their tube. It, it honestly is super fun. Oh shit! Oh, this was a big story. This is like a senator's son. Decapitated one in Kansas. That makes sense. Visitors. Oh, resulting in decapitation, instant death. I like how they included Jesus instant death. Jesus Christ! <laughs> what? I mean, look at this thing. Oh, oh, gnarly. Yeah, I don't, I've don't. i gone on a few of these type of water slides that are just like the 10-story J shape, you know? That's I can't do that little, shit. That is a yeah. wild time. I can't do that shit. There was yeah. uh, When we went to Atlantis in the Bahamas when we were like 12, there was that one slide that you guys went on that I couldn't do. Yeah. You yeah. went on it, and all, it was like, okay, so this, this, ride, this ride at Atlantis is you go down this sharp, you know, steep hill, and you go through what is you're surrounded by a giant shark tank. And Kelly, I'm standing with my mom as we're watching Kelly go down it. And all you hear as she goes down is just, oh my God! <laughs> she like goes uh, through the, the tank that of shit was sharks terrifying. or whatever. terrifying. But it was so funny because it was just like, you just hear her yell and then it's just like cut off like instantly and you're like, where'd she go? You know what's crazy? <laughs> you know what's great? It, it was like the tube in Willy Wonka. When, uh, <laughs> I got <laughs> this glue. I got this glue because I went down in the water. Uh, no, mm. it's it's really crazy because now- The original is lo- so much better. Now looking, pa- oh, definitely. Now looking back <laughs> at it, even at my age now, I would never <laughs> do that. But when you're 10, you're like, I'm going to live forever. At 28, I'm like, if I lean forward <laughs> at all, it's over for me. I'm done. I'm and done. That's what in my head, I was like, I'm not doing that thing. If I lean forward, I'm, I'm fucking done. Yeah. Well, that was the, di- that was yeah, the difference between you and I. When was we it, were what, was the thing you're talking about is open or it's one of those like giant J shaped things. It was like a giant J shaped. Uh, yeah, uh, look, look, look at Atlantis. Um, Cause that thing you like, you feel your back coming off a little bit. Atlantis, Bahamas. This water thing, slide. I swear to God, I blacked out. It was so fast. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh my God. Yeah, like that. It oh, was honestly. Ooh. It was so Atlantis. Sleep yeah, and then this yeah. one, you, it goes into a tube. So if you like put your head up at all, you're gonna die. Yeah, definitely. What's it, the point? Oh, the point. 
I don't know. But I will hand it to Atlantis. That plays. I, okay. <laughs> Honestly. That was the coolest fucking resort. I want to go back so bad. I want to go back so bad. Obviously, we were only fucking like 12 or whatever. There's a casino. I mean, it's this like, play. You know what? Oh, this Screw is the it. world's tallest water slide. That dude, that uh, buddy got his head cut Wait, off. Wait, is that the kid that got his head cut off? Yep. Wow, that's, that's young. I thought it was going to be some like tall, long neck person. Absolutely not. Oh my god. Jesus. See, but, Wait, but, so but they're in a they're what? in a, like a thing. With the Atlantis one, it's just your body. Wait, so what happened? The 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 raft like jumped up? He came off the thing and smacked his dome. Christ alive. See uh, yeah. his dad's a, a Kansas state senator. Oh Jesus. my god. Oh, demo- they demolished it. Yeah, you got. I mean, you got to wipe you it out. Well, also, you know how many out. freaks that were? They were like, "Dude, we're going to Kansas City we're to go going on, on that thing." Yeah, yeah, that's a mess, huh? That's so much worse than flying off a roller coaster. Well, it's going off a water slide? Well, there's no, there's no damn thing. On damn no, but being decapitated on a water slide is a lot less, you know, freeing than what? flying but th- out a roller coaster and going wee. <laughs> and then, and then yeah, just like, I mean, if you, you know. Getting squashed when if you, hit you the ground. if you fly out of a roller coaster, you at least have like ten seconds <laughs> to, to be, be like, like Jesus oh, shit. Christ. <laughs> We're going you know, out. You have those, We're going you out. Have those ten yeah, slow <laughs> seconds of turning and being like, this is what. <laughs> oh yeah, no, but that situation that was that was probably quick. That Trying probably to turn to your buddy and be what? like, <laughs> and yikes! Like, huh? Looking down and you're like. Whoa. Oh, whoa. This is not going to be a smooth landing. I'm <laughs> sorry. sorry. I'm sorry. You know why we're laughing? Because it's absolutely terrifying. It is Damn so I'm scary. Sweaty I'm literally about- hot. I'm hot thinking about it. Okay, because- here's, the, here's, the, here's going down. This isn't the video. Oh, the- God. <laughs> I was it's like, not, I was like they put no. this? Look at this. Look at this. Look at this. Oh, no. no. Oh, God. Oh, oh that uh-uh. thing just swings open. Get out of town. Absolutely not. I would never. I would never. That doesn't look that bad. It's I mean, he must have not been holding on. I'm not trying to victim blame. I'm just saying. <laughs> <laughs> it just didn't look. That video really, I guess. No, pro- well, right here at the beginning, you come, you go like airborne, dude. So, like, yeah, I don't know. Oh, I see. What happened here is dude got. Dude got fucking wrecked. Oh, wait, right on. <sighs> Damn. Wait. He hit his head on one of, on, I don't know what part, but it was on this thing up here. Well, yeah, I could see how that would happen I because mean, it's I, like, I also can. you know, why would you put a lid on it in case someone did fly I mean, up? I but guess then the, the lid wasn't like soft enough. They should have had these sides come up a lot higher. And that way, like, if you do go like that, it's whatever. Or just make it a tube. Yeah. Or just not build a ride like that. Jesus. You know, like, do we need to do that? Do we really need this thrill? <sighs> Cheap thrills. See you you know what, though? I do know I, 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 people. Damn. I guarantee this. You go to, like, a Six Flags or something, they're the most sober people walking around. Because mm-hmm. they're like, I can't fucking get fucked up anymore. I'm looking for the thrill of nearly the flying. Th- off I love a good roller. coaster. I love a good coaster, too, but. The people, yeah. a couple of people have died on uh, Boulder Dash, haven't or Boulder or Bo- Boulder Dash. Yeah, people. See, died. this is my kind of water slide right here, where it's like you go down the thing and then up the other side. You dig, like here, like you go down, you go up the other side. Yeah, I've never easy. done one of those. That looks easy. Oh, that yeah, looks, looks easy. easy. I'm just, I'm not big on water parks. The, it's dirty to me. It's a lot of. Honestly, I really, I've said this before, everybody knows this, I got a big problem with the general public. So, like, yeah. when I go into a scenario where, okay, it's also it's the general public and then we're also dealing with a lot of hygiene issues, I'm like, I, 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 I'm okay. I can't even just, I'm sorry, I hate to keep harping on this, but if, if someone flies off a coaster, if somebody, if something, if something crazy happens, just imagine being in the theme park that day. Oh, I know. I know. What do you do? I don't know. Oh, what do you do? Well, that do they would... close the theme park or just the ride? The, they close the whole thing. They probably close <laughs> that whole thing, but I feel like at Disney, they couldn't close the whole thing. Or maybe they just close Animal Kingdom. Maybe everything else is fine. Have people died at Disney? 
I think so. But maybe. probably rock and roller coaster, maybe. Space I think Mountain, they, maybe. I think they if they did die, it was from something like, oh, I was pregnant and I didn't tell anybody. Or I had a heart yeah, problem and yeah, I didn't yeah. tell anybody. Well, there's that ride at uh, Knott's Berry Farm where it like it's like shoots you up and it's like that kind of big in shape. Yeah. And on that ride, sometimes it kind of misfires and doesn't get enough speed until you come all the way back down and they try it again. Oh, I know what you're talking about. Terrifying. Yeah. Terrifying. Uh, this guy died in 2019. He's a construction worker. Um, damn, two women fell out of a tram. Whoa, holy shit. That dude jumped from... Uh, uh, 50. Oh, he jumped from the Mickey and Friends parking structure? Come That's on. messed Why up. Do that? That's messed up. People are dying in the Mickey and Friends parking structure. But also, if I didn't get a picture with Chippendale... <laughs> Dude, the Mickey and Friends parking structure is like twisted. People are fucking going off in the. What Mickey is, what does the Mickey and Friends parking structure look like? It's just like the is it structure. is it like right in front of the park though? Like they're trying to say something. I think so. Like what about corporations or something? I'm trying to say something about a fucking. Um, Imagine trying to prove a point with your dad. Yeah. Just die. <laughs> <laughs> just die and shut up. You know. Well, here's the thing though. Oh, wow. People got measles there. Here's yeah, but it. I, I'm trying to figure out if anybody on the ride. Yeah, no one cares about the people. Yeah, that, I'm not talking about the people who purposefully <laughs> no jumped out of the, you know, parking structure. I not, mean, no one cares. Rest in peace. Although, really, you got to do that in front of the kids. But Yeah, why you got to do that? That's yeah, fucked yeah, up. Yeah, that's, that's messed up. up. That's messed up. That's messed up to do that in front of the kids. Yeah. I would imagine that if you're doing that, you're like, well... You know, nobody likes me, you know. Yeah, and this will make it better. Yeah, this will... You don't in front of kids. Yeah, we can all <laughs> sign off on that now. You're right. Nobody fucking <laughs> liked you. <laughs> I mean, Jesus Christ. You know? I mean, come on. Have some, have some fucking... Di- I mean, in you, your you, you, you last moments, you have no decency. <laughs> I mean, It's got to be some drugs or something, Totally. Right? Something's got to be in the water. People are fucked up, Kelly. They <laughs> jump to the death in front of the children. <laughs> They're doing it. I mean... <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh, oh God. God. You know what? This is what I was talking about yesterday when we were talking at dinner about, um, you know, being like, oh, you're going to get canceled. I'm like, <laughs> yeah, probably. Probably. After this? After definitely. this. But I don't really care because, you know. Oh, so we're in the wrong. So you should jump. <laughs> yeah. I mean, come on. <laughs> fucking, come on. <laughs> You're right. It's not normally. It's not funny. Our hands are still sweating. <laughs> I'm sweating. We told you. Well, because because here's the thing. Here's the thing, right? Okay. <laughs> Laughing is a coping mechanism. It really is. We're girl. coping with it. Well, here's the fucking thing. Okay, so so let's say you're at Disney with your family. You just spent what a thousand dollars at fucking Disney World. Yeah, okay? yeah, yeah. You're Disney with your family. You go to park the car. You gotta get get the car or whatever. And someone has the audacity. And somebody leaps. And you gotta explain that to your five, six, seven year olds. You gotta explain it to the five, six, seven year olds. The park's closed. You don't get refunded. Cause you know it's Disney. It's and they're Disney. Like, Go Why fuck would you yourself. get refu- yeah, 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 yeah. You don't get refunded. So suddenly you're out seven hundred dollars because some motherfucker decides <laughs> <laughs> to go do that. In front of the children. <laughs> in front of the children. I mean, it's really. I hate to harp on it, but it's, I mean, it's just. I mean, it, it, but you there, know what? There are plenty you know of what, places. Though? This is what I'm talking about, though. This is what I'm talking about. Uh, <laughs> the fact that people are so wrapped up in their own sadness, hold no accountability whatsoever, right. Right, right. and then all of a sudden, I'm supposed to be like, "Oh, poor you." I, I, I was poor you until you did it in front of the kids. Until you did it in front of the kids. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I mean, what kind of, I mean, clearly you're somebody who doesn't think children are the future. <laughs> well, in your head. And they're not thinking of the future. In, in, in your head, there's no future. Yeah, that's a fucking problem. <laughs> are we being too much, Bruce? No, I think you're fine. So, yeah, I think, I think we're okay. I think we're making good points. <laughs> I mean, it is. It is. I mean, wait, wait. yeah, it's sad. But I mean, it's like, you know. You can't look around and go, there's nobody to blame. There's somebody to fucking blame. Yeah. Yeah. Because those kids are going to be traumatized for forever. For forever. I mean, the least you could do is make it look like an accident. Yeah, but it's also like, what do you would you rather someone do? Something crazy like a mass shooting or somebody jump off the Mickey and Friends? Why does that well, have I think to be we're the two? Comparing well, you know what I'm saying? I, you know, <laughs> if they're gonna do something, if, no, I'm saying if they're trying to make a point, what kind of point do you want them to make? Well, I don't even think they're making a point. Maybe when they, you know, I mean, when think they about just it. jump off the parking structure. The only reason we know about this is because we googled something else. 
You know, yeah. like yeah. they didn't. Gra- there wasn't groundbreaking information. Now, uh, uh, it's technically is groundbreaking information. <laughs> okay, all right. Yeah, you know, here just talking. Uh, <laughs> first of all, we should put like some hotline number. Uh, but if you ever need help, you know, whatever, whatever. <laughs> but government. <laughs> Don't do it at Disney World. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you very much. But yeah, you could have made it an accident. You know, oh, forget your seatbelt is space. You know. That's what I'm saying. Oh my God. And imagine flying through those stars. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> One last go at a good time. <laughs> you know, they'll use this clip one day and they'll say... <laughs> Kelly and I are making fun of You know what? We're oh. not. Oh. <laughs> and honestly, <laughs> what if we were? You know, what do you really, what are you going to, what, what does it matter? Everybody, everybody knows that it's not the concept of somebody doing that to themselves that we are making fun of or finding right. the humor in. Exactly. It's, we don't really know what we're finding the humor in. <laughs> Honestly, I think it's honestly the pain of the whole situation because, (laughs) uh, well, that's the other thing. If something traumatic or tragic happens in front of me, (laughs) I need a minute. I need a a second. I I need need a second. A second because (laughs) because my brain (laughs) automatically computes it in cartoon form. Yeah, I'm sorry to say. Because that's how I process terrible information. Like, like we imagine, you know, things with we you, we're talking like piano falling to anvil. On yeah, the, I mean that's how our brain. The, we brain. are people that grew up on Roger Rabbit. Do Does you understand? <laughs> Do you understand how the brain is working here? So, <laughs> so a lot of things that people would probably get violently upset about if Allie and I look at each other <laughs> it, it's like we can't even and and then we'll look at each other and go no it's bad it is bad it's, it's bad. bad it's sad it's really, it's really sad, sad. It's it, really is, and sad. it is and it is and that that is our core you know that's where our heart <laughs> we, is we know it's sad we know it's bad we know <laughs> <laughs> we know all these things but but something in the DNA, uh, maybe we're just going to hell. Maybe we're just going to hell. <laughs> I don't know. If you're there, I'm fine. <laughs> yeah, no, it should be all right. <laughs> we get to hell. They're just like burning my arm off. We're like, <laughs> they're like, we don't even like you. We're like, okay. <laughs> yeah, you guys should be screaming about how upset you are. Yeah, well. <laughs> We just think how it's, it's kind of funny how it all worked out. <laughs> we just really thought some other people should be here if you really asked us. But you picked us, which yeah. is not how it always goes. <laughs> <laughs> but the yeah. other thing is this, is it's like, if you can't look up re- at like really sad and terrible situations and laugh at all, that's got to be a heavy thing to bear, yeah. Yeah. you know? I would rather do this than be, you know, sitting here being like, and he jumped. In front of the children. Off of Mickey. Off of Mickey. Yeah, off of Mickey. <laughs> I mean, I'm grateful to have this mindset instead of that. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Makes my life a bit easier. <laughs> <laughs> he just jumped with one of those twirly light things. <laughs> <laughs> you shoot it off and it twirls and then you jump after it. And you're like, you're like, whoa, it's not yeah. keeping me up. <laughs> he thought he was going to go. Yeah, he thought the thing could lift him the whole way up. <laughs> Oh, man, <laughs> you know what's a pity about jumping off a parking structure? What they don't get a quote from you after, you know? <laughs> they get one on the way down. <laughs> Make sure what are you doing? Oh. <laughs> yeah. Oh man. Anyways, that's why you don't do hard drugs. There's no way that dude did it sober. There's, There's no, no way. way. There's, There's no, no way. way. You just you do it. Who's who's Deborah Gill Stone? Who, what happened to Deborah? Who, who, who are you googling? So apparently, this lady was working as a hostess. Mm-hmm. In uh, at America Sings, what is that? America. Oh, America Sings. I think that's uh, like one of those half rides, half restaurants where they're like, oh, okay. um, 
you know, here's our president of the United States or something like that. Mm. Maybe. What happened to her? Uh, she was working at a hostess, and uh, for lack of a better term, what they use here, she got her head crushed. Whoa. And she died. Wait, what Holy do you mean? Holy moly. This is in 1974. Mm, technology mm. wasn't up to speed then. Yeah, 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 no, yeah. There wasn't really a lot of kinder words for those kinds of deaths either. Head right. crushed. Head crushed. Crushed by what? That's, uh... Wait, America Sing... What was it? Like a... Was it like a carousel? I'm not quite sure. America Sings. Wikipedia. Let's take a look here. The, because... Uh, yeah, kind of like a... Yeah. Yeah, ca- Oh, now it's called the Carousel of Progress. The same thing. Carousel. Yes, Carousel of Progress is you sit in this um, you sit in this room and the stage rotates. Oh, so it's okay. it's honestly the most boring fucking ride ever. So the fact that she died that's on that that's unfortunate. that really sucks. It's really unfortunate. Yeah, she got crushed between the two walls. Damn. Oh, fuck. Damn. Anton Yelkin. Mm, I was about to say. Yeah, that really sucks. That really does suck. You know what, though? Jeez. That's why you got to live every day on this planet. Have a great time because you never know when you're going to be doing some mundane task. You never know. Bada bing, bada boom. But honestly, when I get on a ride or something, I do compute in my head. I'm like, where's the spot here that would probably put me in a safer yeah, position? Yeah, I will say that. <laughs> I, I When am, they put me on like an end seat, I'm like, ah, oh, fuck. Yeah, very rarely am I like blindly going into a ride or going into something without thinking of the worst possible you thing You ever that get on happen. a carnival ride and be like, holy shit, this thing is about to break. Yeah. Yeah. Bruce doesn't. Uh, w- when we went to the uh, Bakersfield Fair when we first started dating, I I wanted to go on everything, uh-huh. and he was like, "I don't, I don't want to. I do not want to." I understand. Yeah. I've been on like like when we at the Eastern Carnival that damn uh, the with the thing where it goes. Mm. You know what I'm talking about? So this the is Sizzler or something? Yeah, there have take... been times where I've been on that thing and I'm like, Jesus Christ! Yeah, the fucking zipper and shit. Like it's well, like, but a yeah, lot of people it's... have died on the Sizzler thing. Well, yeah, it's, those rides are put together by fucking meth heads, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. It's no good. It's yeah. no good. Well, there was a girl. There was a girl well, this at is gnarly. the f- uh, firefighters carnival in Easton, Connecticut, where she. It was that ride where it's shaped like a spaceship a UFO, and you mm-hmm. walk in, and you all stand around the edges of it, and it spins and spins oh, and spins. I love you know that. I'll I'm do that about? shit, yeah. Okay. Well, wait well, until you fucking hear this. It goes, like, up and down, kind of, in the in the in on the insides of yeah. it, so you kind of, you know, and a girl, her hair got caught mm-hmm. in, like, the flap of it or something, and it ripped, her like, scalp out. half of her scalp out. Is this a true story? Or yes. Is this like no, 100% yes. True. And they had to shut down the carnival for the night. She had to shave like and her whole fucking head. She had to, of course, go to the hospital. She was a girl that went to our school it system, but I don't know who it her. was. If our, it scalped her just like they <clears throat> freaking do in, uh, whatchamacallit, in Glorious Masters. Yeah, it was wild. The problem was when y- she y- wore. She wore uh, a. That's not it, but no. That's she wore a hairnet on the ride, which was the big foul. That was the big. A move. hairnet. She wore a hairnet. She, she wore one of those hairnets. You know those little ones that would go over a bun. When you put like a bun in your hair, and so then she you... was like, oh, "I don't want to get my fucking scalp ripped off. Put this thing on, and it happened anyways." What the fuck? Yeah, it caught on to like that material and like the rest of her hair. And then it just took out yeah, that she, fucking chunk. I, I mean, when we all, we were like, Jesus. When yeah. This? this was, we were in what? Uh, we I don't like, know, probably 2006 to yeah, 2005. I think, we, I think we were in middle school. Yeah. At the time that it happened. It was I like that. I like that zero gravity thing. I, my thought is always just, what if they can't turn this fucking thing off? Yeah, yeah. Every time we just I'm on keep there. going and going and going you and going. You ever seen someone stand up on that shit? Yeah. Yeah. That shit's pretty cool. Yeah. Well, they they switched it out for another one that was similar to it for a while, and then once everyone moved on from the fact that she got fucking scalped, they brought it back. Yeah, yeah, and because I, I think it was probably it. cheaper than the other one. Yeah, you and know when you people know, get their hair ripped out, it's tech. I do it, like it a drops good carnival. price value. I love the carnival. I the rides. The carnival. I'll go on a Ferris wheel. I'll go on the swings. Mm-hmm. But as soon as you start fucking moving shit around, all you know. 
willy nilly. I mean, I've just been on ones that really creak. Well, whenever you know Kelly the went, the zipper is the one that really. Yeah. Kelly literally, you know, she's allergic to gluten. She what is she? She has a deep fried grilled cheese. Had to try it. She had a wine slushy and oh. a turkey leg, right? And a turkey leg, and then she's like, "Hey, let's go on this ride that spins at a million spins per second. And I was like, "You know, spinny rides will make me sick at this. Point oh ride. yeah, no, this I'm ride not. sucked. It fucking it was brutal. What it ride hurt. was it? It was like a thing with like a, a couple arms on it, and then like a ride. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. It, yeah, it, yeah, it yeah, spun yeah, around yeah, really yeah. fast in a circle, but also the thing you're spinning in, you're sitting in. Spun the opposite way. It was a fucking nightmare. It was a lot. And then afterwards, Kelly's like, "Oh, I don't feel good." <laughs> I bet you didn't. Oh, uh, yeah, I didn't. <laughs> and I was the entire thing of that night was that we were all going to go see Ashanti, who I love Ashanti at the fair. And then the entire time during Ashanti, Kelly's just like, "Oh, no, I was not. <laughs> no, I was not. I was fine during Ashanti." Did you not feel well? I felt fine during Ashanti. The worst part about Ashanti was how many fucking people were there and the fact that we couldn't see. We couldn't see anything. We could see and hear. I am five Are feet tall. Are you a big tall. Ashanti fan? I love, I love Ashanti. Apparently, all of Bakersfield is a big is Ashanti fan. No, oh, but you no. know, Ashanti rocks. You know, I won't. Li- I won't listen to any Ashanti slander. I have no. Slander. I have no slander. I have nothing to say in general. I have no slander. About Ashanti. I just did not expect it to be that packed. Ashanti's popular. Come on, you don't know. I ha- I do know who it is. I just I don't care. Baby, I don't. I'm not always there when you call. Yeah. I'm no, I know it. We we know who she is. I know it's it. Just, I just. I have never not, seen that you know. many Ashanti fans in one area before, so it it really threw me for a loop to see now, that. See, Kelly and I, Kelly and I grew up listening to a lot of Avril Lavigne, and any American Idol contestant. But that's Eastern Connecticut for you. I know. Hey, I you know. know. Hey, I know. We're lucky our dad liked Beyonce. Fern County Fair. I think they canceled the they canceled the 2021 fair. T- man. What? Dang. Hey, there's a rodeo coming up. up up here. Do you guys want to go? A rodeo? Fuck yeah, I do. Yes. Yeah. Nice. You know what, what I am very happy about? That all these big events are starting to get the fucking hint, and they're all getting White Claw and Trulies. Yeah. Thank God. <laughs> well, because I can't have... Starting to get the fucking point. <laughs> <laughs> Not everyone wants beer. It makes you feel full. June 30th through, through July 4th. Man. All right, let's go. Let June 30th it. through the 4th. When oh. do you have shows? What are you talking about? June 30th through the 4th. Oh, I have shows like the 6th, 7th. Oh, okay. So now. we could still. Okay. Oh, my God. We got to go. It's going to be popping. There's a carnival, too. Fuck oh, yeah. Fuck. This is what I'm talking about. That's good shit. I want to go to the Tuesday Hall of Fame induction barbecue. I, I want to. I actually do want to go to that. A I bit do. Too. I know. I, I want to go. go. Wait, where? Where is this? It's in Saint Paul, Oregon, which I believe I can check right now. Portland to or no, sorry, we're not in Portland. Vancouver to to Saint Paul, Oregon. Oh no, 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 no! That's that's Vancouver, British Columbia. Oh. Okay. Okay, An that's hour. doable. It's thirty seven minutes away. We should get a hotel. We should get a hotel okay. down there. We definitely could. It's an hour right Fuck now because it's Thursday at five o'clock. Yeah. We should we should get a hotel down there and just fucking Woo Party. I'm so down. I love a good Let me get Mimi. As much <laughs> as we hate the general public, we love observing the general we public. We are supposed definitely. to be in Seattle. Aren't you guys going to Seattle that weekend though? Uh, uh yeah. July fourth we'll have to be there. July 4th is that Sunday. Okay, so... Yeah, I gotta take off. One of those days, I'm sure we could do something. What I would like to why don't go, we go to... Why don't we go Thursday? <coughs> because uh, you have days off on Thursdays, right? Yeah. We could go Thursday into Friday. Yeah. I, I love like... how we're talking about these plans with our with yeah, our audience here. You guys, we're gonna be at the carnival if you guys wanna come <laughs> swing by. And the rodeo. We will I, not I wanna, be on the scrambler. I love a rodeo. I want to see bull riding, and I really want to see bareback horse riding. Okay, well, we got to get tickets fire. ASAP. We will. We'll get, we'll get it all going. And Kelly can saying? invite everyone she's ever met. Uh-huh. I just never want anyone to feel not included. I do have to say, and Kelly and I haven't recorded since this, we, for our birthday, went to, um, went to the casino. Uh, oh, nearby yeah. with a good amount of uh, friends 
And holy moly, did we have the time of our little lives. We got cut off. We I did not get cut off. Well, no, whole our whole, got party, got whole cut party got cut party off. Got cut off due to the behavior of two individuals, one in particular who may or may not be not on camera, but certainly in the room. Superintendent. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> you know, I'm, I'm allowed to cut loose every now and again. Sure. You did cut loose. You, you did. did. You, you cut loose, so we got cut off. Yes. Hey, we had a great time. I we have did no, have a great I have no time. problem oh God, with how so we did fun. all that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was so much fun. Our birthday was, uh, you know, really a great time. Thank you for all the birthday wishes, and nobody from this platform is. Dude, being at a rodeo on 4th of July? Get out of here. Get out of town. But we will be in Seattle. Yeah. Due to the one person who I know who takes 4th of July more seriously than anybody, anybody else is going to be in the area. Um, all the but, way. Also, by the way... By the W A Y, I will not be taking any Fourth of July slander this year because it is the first time that we really all will be able to party heavily, yeah, yeah. thanks to the vaccine. So and maybe, take your problems elsewhere. Yeah, and maybe maybe have a good time because what's his face is not around anymore. Yeah, so maybe you know, have a good time. God, God forbid. forbid, Jeffrey Epstein, he's gone. Fuck him. Exactly. Yes. He. Yeah. 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 Well, anyway, guys, listen. We had I'm fun. so glad we came back and we this was a you know this was a fun we a laughed fun a lot return. We yeah. laughed a lot about really terrible things. That's right. Well, that's just talking for you. So hey, uh, we'll see you later. You guys have a great day. Thanks. Bye. Bye.